Welcome back ladies, gents, non-binary friends. Today we're talking about Oksana Fedorova, the Miss Universe who was publicly dethroned. Ooh. Oksana Fedorova, of course, was from Russia. And what a lot of people don't know about her is before her extensive television and pageantry career, she was actually a police officer in Russia. And she continued this career in law enforcement for a considerable amount of time, being promoted to captain in the year 2002 and then to major in the year 2005. But of course, we know her as a pageant queen and she began her pageantry career by competing in and winning Miss St. Petersburg of 1999. And in 2001, she was crowned as Miss Russia, which of course afforded her the opportunity to represent Russia at Miss Universe 2002. And all the while, Oksana has been studying law. She had actually already graduated from university in the year 2000, but she decided to do a postgraduate doctoral degree in civil law. And that's basically what she was busy with when she won Miss Russia and was headed off to Miss Universe 2002. And at this time, there was actually a lot of tension between the US and Russia due to upcoming talks about nuclear weapons between Vladimir Putin and George Bush. And this actually delayed the visa process for Oksana to be able to travel to Puerto Rico. Now, although Puerto Rico is very much its own country. It is still a territory of the USA and therefore you needed or still need actually a US visa to travel to Puerto Rico. And for this reason, Oksana actually arrived a little bit later than all of the other contestants. And although she arrived late, she was an instant hit. She scored much higher than most other contestants in the swimsuit uh, round as well as the evening gown round and of course she ended up being the winner and the first runner up famously of course was justine pasek from panama justine of course would later resume the title take over from oksana and also be known as miss universe 2002. <laughs> oksana of course was crowned miss universe and the first few months of her reign, by all accounts, actually went pretty smoothly until, for some reason, rumors started popping up that she was pregnant. And a while after this, she was dethroned and Justine Pasek of Panama was announced to be the new Miss Universe. And Oksana, of course, was not pregnant and she denounced the rumors and said that she actually gave up her title because she wanted to focus on completing her doctoral law degree in Russia. But in another statement, Paula Shugart actually said that Oksana was unable to fulfill her duties as Miss Universe and that she, being Oksana, needed to spend a lot of time in Russia. Fun fact, Paula Sugart has actually been president of the Miss Universe organization since the year 1997, so that's 25 years this year. But a while after this, Oksana actually revealed in an interview later that the real reason she gave up her title as Miss Universe was because she was so insulted by the sexual nature of the questions asked by Howard Stern when she went on the Howard Stern show as part of her Miss Universe duties. And to be honest with you, it's no surprise seeing as Howard Stern has basically built his career off of controversy, he has really said some very offensive and insulting things, especially to female guests on his show. He asked her some really gross questions, not fit for any woman to be asked, let alone a law enforcement officer, a law student, a doctoral law student, I might add, and a Miss Universe. 
take a look. Hubba hubba, honey, you're cute. She doesn't understand. I can't pack it. I pick up a chicken for. <laughs> you are very cute, babushka. <laughs> I hate the uh, Russian, Russian language. language. I can't speak I it. When she was a cop, did guys try to bang her? Oh my. Um, when did Miss Universe lose her virginity? <laughs> Do you shave your private parts? Is penis size important? I am very small. <laughs> yes, thank you. What do you prefer, circumcised or uncircumcised? You, ba you barely eat. Yes, beautiful body. Would she make love to a black man? I don't have the time to think about that. I'm sorry. Really? She won't answer any sexual questions. No sex questions, huh? Oh. What about Shaquille O'Neal? Would you do him? Have you ever had a burning sensation during urination? You're serious? Yes, I am. Have you ever made love to another woman? You nasty. Obviously, English is not her mother language, but she is a very intelligent and accomplished woman, especially in Russia, and I would be so pissed if I went on a show like this and got treated like this gross now recently very recently actually natalie glabova who was miss universe 2005 so three years after oksana actually had a little interview with oksana and asked oksana to talk about why she gave up the title of miss universe and oksana said the following so hard to say in English. Actually, it's easy, but I'm a little bit nervous because we are remembering that time. Uh, it was a difficult time for me. It was a long conversation with the head of uh, Miss Universe at that time, Donald Trump, and we decided about my my future when I um, uh, will uh, living, when I will uh, working, developing. So, and I decided to uh, stop the contract and. Uh, you decided, okay, the oh. short answer, guys, if you're wondering, Oksana decided to follow her heart. Yes. Really. That's it, because what Oksana just told me, and it's something that everyone should understand, is that before winning Miss Universe, she had invested a lot of time and energy and effort into her studies and the thing that was the most important thing in her life at that time. So winning, of course, Miss Universe was such an unexpected surprise. And it was beautiful, wonderful moment, what she said. But living in New York for five months and doing the responsibilities as Miss Universe made Oksana question her life going forward. It made her question her future. What am I going to do after this year is done? And because she only took one month off, she got one month off from her studies and being there for five months she felt that if she stays for one year there's no way to get it back when she goes back after one year and it would be like basically saying that's it everything that i've done before i have to finish and i have to move on with uh, acting um, the school of acting and um, theater right in new york city and i have to say goodbye to my whole life that i worked and studied and put in the effort in Russia. Yes, that was my choice. And now I'm, um, uh, I'm happy. You know, I have family, two kids, and uh, I have my my job. I have a chance to travel. I'm uh, so many times were in uh, America, and uh, um, in the countries uh, uh, which I visited uh, during my um, Miss Universe uh, uh, time. So. I'm happy, I'm full of uh, uh, sense, I'm full of energy, uh, and I full, uh, I'm, I'm full of plan, <laughs> plans yeah. for the future. And so, uh, we'll see. And Oksana said, no regrets, no regrets about that decision, because you got to actually experience everything. You got to be Miss Universe, but you also, you made the bravest decision to follow your heart, not just because people were expecting you to finish your year, but you said, what is most important to me? And you chose something that you felt was right for you and your life. And no one can ever take away from you that decision because if it feels right, your heart will never lie to you, right? So she basically just reiterated that she quit because she valued her life in Russia higher. 
But I came across this guy on YouTube and he runs the channel Critical Beauty Salon and he claims to know the actual reason why Oksana was stripped of her Miss Universe title. Here's the version of the Miss Universe organization. So when Hector, Joaquin and I visited the Miss Universe organization in October 2004, President Paula Sugar told us that Oksana was dethroned because she had been dishonest to the organization. First, Oksana had asked MEO permission to return to Russia to finish her studies. Then MEO contacted her to return to New York City to fulfill some obligations, but she responded by saying that her grandmother was very sick and was dying. So MEO decided to send flowers to Oksana's grandmother but that they had to inquire to which hospital the flowers should be sent. Oksana then told MEO that sending flowers to sick people is not customary in Russia. MEO became very suspicious, so they hired a private investigator to investigate Oksana's situation in Russia, and the investigator discovered that she was living with a wealthy older gentleman. After the investigation, MEO contacted Oksana's first runner-up, Justine Pasek from Panama, and told her to come to New York City to do some work related to her first runner-up position, but she had absolutely no clue about what would happen next. At the airport, Justine was met by a limousine with Paula Sugar inside. All of a sudden, Paula tells Justine, you are the new Miss Universe, and we are going to a press conference for your coronation. Justine was totally caught off guard when she heard this. Later that day, MEO owner Donald Trump attended the press conference and he himself crowned Justine Pasek as the new Miss Universe. And that, my dear followers, is the real reason Oksana lost her Miss Universe crown. Can I just say, I love the sass and theatrics of this guy. Do I believe the story? In part. I think Oksana found herself disrespected in the USA one too many times and decided to go back to Russia where she had a respectable career and where people frankly could understand her. To be a beauty queen in the early 2000s must have sucked, <laughs> to be honest with you. I mean, I can understand why Oksana was fed up. Like, why would she stay and deal with people like Howard Stern when she could go back to Russia and be happy? And until this day, we still don't know whether she quit or whether she was fired. I personally think she basically just stayed away until they had no choice but to fire her. But either way, I think at the end of the day, it was Oksana's choice not to be Miss Universe anymore. Let me know what you guys think about Oksana. Let me know what you think about this theory that th this guy from Critical Beauty Salon had. I think it's all very interesting to speculate. Do you think we'll ever know exactly what happened? Who knows, but I do think that respect and people not understanding her did have something to do with it. I mean, it just makes logical sense. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you haven't already, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I post lots of fashion stuff over there and I would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching once again and I will see you in the next one. Bye. You are very cute, babushka.